Hi there, this is Anup. Today we are going to talk about May 2023 Patch Tuesday news. What are the patches released for Windows 11, Windows 10, different versions of Windows 11 and Windows 10? And what are the zero-day vulnerabilities? What are the fixes and new updates which are coming to Windows 11 and Windows 10 operating systems with Patch Tuesday updates on May 2023? So don't skip it. Let's go ahead and watch it out. Let's talk about May 2023 Patch Tuesday. What are the patches released for Windows 11 and Windows 10? The patch details are available here and we will look into that in details. How many zero day vulnerabilities are there? There are three zero day vulnerabilities and we will look into that also in details. Let's also check out fixes and known issues and options to deploy these patches via Intune and SSEM. Let's go to the next slide. Let's now look into three zero day vulnerabilities that Microsoft published during May patch Tuesday. One is very critical in that as per Microsoft that is Windows OLE remote execution vulnerability. It is publicly disclosed as well as as well as critical. So this is related to affected version of Microsoft Outlook application. You need to patch Microsoft Outlook application as soon as possible. And the second vulnerability is all about Windows Boot Manager and to mitigate the vulnerability you have a KB article from Microsoft and you need to go through that article and make the recommended changes. The Outlook article vulnerability is SVE 2023-29325. Windows Boot Manager vulnerability that Microsoft fixed is SVE 2023-24932. And there is a third vulnerability that is related to pin 32k elevation of privilege vulnerability. This is not publicly disclosed but exploitation is already detected by Microsoft. All these details are available in the description of the video. If you want to check out more details on all these vulnerabilities and if you want to check out the links you can get all the details in the description of the video. Let's go to the next slide. Let's quickly check the build versions of Windows 10 and Windows 11. Once this Windows 10 KB5026361 is installed on the devices, then the build version should be 2965. 19042-2965, 19044-2965, 19045-2965. For Windows 11, there are two KB articles. One is KB5026368 and the other one is Windows 11 22H2 and that is KB5026263732. The build versions are available over here. For 22H2 it ends with 1702 and 1936 is the build version for 21H2 after May patch installation. We have already discussed about Windows 10 build numbers. Let's go to the next slide. Let's check what are the improvements coming out with May patch for Windows 11 operating system. There's a firewall setting change and it includes application group rules as well. If you hover over widgets or click on widgets taskbar button, you can see some animations in Windows 11 22 H2 version. There's a new toggle switch that Microsoft introduced as part of Windows update page or settings application. It's called get Windows updates as soon as they are available for your device. When you turn it on, Microsoft will prioritize your device to get the latest non-security updates and enhancements when they are available for your device. So the availability part is still managed by Microsoft. For managed devices, devices such as Intune managed devices etc. The toggle switch is disabled by default and the admins can have an option to enable or disable using Intune or other management tools. This is that toggle switch which I was talking about here. Now let's go to the next slide. Let's check what are the 
fixes which are coming with May patches. There was an issue with MDM stack printing and that is fixed with May patches. And there was also an issue with Microsoft Edge IE mode. IE mode pop-up window opens in the background instead of the foreground. That issue is also fixed. There was a big buzz around Labs legacy client conflict after April patch Tuesday. Now in May patch Tuesday, Microsoft fixed that issue. There was an issue with secure boot enablement that is also fixed now. I'm not going to go through all the fixes. You can pause the video and check out the table. Also, you can check out the description of the video to get the Microsoft documentation on this part. Let's go to the next slide. Microsoft is investigating on some of the non-issues. Those are not fixed with this May patch release. Some of them are highlighted here. The taskbar elements might flicker and cause device instability. That issue is still getting investigated there's no resolution but mitigation is provided using KIR that is nothing but rollback of the feature using the group policy and still have UWP app opening issue and that is also getting investigated mitigation is already in place another issue is this particular KB article might fail to install and you might receive this particular error 800F0922 this is also getting investigated the details over here there are other non issues as well which are listed in microsoft documentation in the description of the video let's go to the next slide microsoft already announced end of life for windows 10 also microsoft announced that 22 h2 version is the last version of windows 10 22 h2 so there won't be any new version release for windows 10 but windows 10 will only get the security patches etc etc until end of life that is somewhere in 2025 but with may patch there are few updates or additions feature improvements that microsoft did with windows 10 so this there's some new feature and that is now windows 10 has the ability to sync language and regional settings when change microsoft account display language or regional format windows 11 topic so i'm not going to discuss that the tab windows manager stops responding when we use microsoft edge ie mode I'm not going to go through all the changes or all the improvements or all the fixes for windows 10 but you can pause the video and check this out or read this out let's go to the next slide this is the standard way of deploying patches using in intune and sscm you can refer to the i button over here in youtube video to check out the dedicated video for sscm patching etc there are different methods to patch windows 11 and windows 10 latest cumulative update patches using SCM. You can create ADR rules for automatically creating all the patch packages, software update groups, etc. This is ADR basically. Automatic deployment rules. And you can set a schedule to run the ADR on every patch Tuesday and then it will automatically handle all the creation of patch packages, etc. Refer to the dedicated video for that to get more details. Let's go to the next slide. This slide you can see there are different ways to patch the devices which are managed by Intune. Over here we are showing the expedited method to patch to fix the zero day vulnerabilities etc if you have any. Otherwise you can use the general Windows 10 update rings. You don't need to do anything on monthly basis it will automatically deploy monthly patches as per your schedule. Let's go to the next slide. You need to use 2023 hyphen 05 keyword over here in the search box if you want to manually download the patches these patches and install it or you can check out the description of the video to get the direct download link for these patches now that you have seen all the details about may 2023 patch tuesday updates so we have seen the vulnerabilities zero day vulnerabilities that microsoft announced we have talked about the kb article 
articles released for Windows 10 and Windows 11 version. Windows 10 end of life is already announced and the last version of Windows 10 is 22H2 and there won't be any further versions of Windows 10 released but you will get the Windows 10 patches until October 2025. So all these details we have discussed. Hope this was helpful. Thank you all for watching. See you around.